Hello children, this is Mrs. Madhvi. Today we are going to discuss about the liquid which is known as the elixir of life. And you know which liquid is known as the elixir of life? It is water. Water is a very very important liquid children and without which there is no life possible. All living organisms, whether it is the tiniest microorganism, the bacteria or the most specialized organism, the man, they cannot survive without water. Our planet is known as the blue planet because four-fifths of the earth's surface is covered with water and it is because of the presence of this water life is possible on our planet and you must be knowing there's so many researches being conducted on other planets to search for the uh, existence of water so that they could be some possibility of life in those planets so without water there is no life okay so coming to what is the importance of water importance of water children water is required for sustaining life okay water is required for sustaining life water is required for the plants to grow and if the plants are not there we are not having any food because these plants are the primary producers on which all the other organisms depend upon their food and we need food to provide energy so no water no food no food no energy so water is required for the plants to grow okay next is water is required for us to cook food and to various domestic cores so it is required for cooking food okay then water is required to keep our body clean externally okay if there wouldn't have been water we wouldn't have been able to bathe right so we are able to bathe remove the dust particles that are present on our skin and also any bacteria anything we are able to cleanse ourselves because of water so to clean our body externally now water is also required to clean your body internally okay there are so many nitrogenous waste which are produced inside our body like urea okay now these waste have to be eliminated and they are eliminated in the form of solution for example urea is eliminated through urine again which is nothing but a solution of water okay excessive of any minerals in our body are removed in the form of sweat so basically water is not only required for external cleansing it's also required for internal cleansing so it is required to clean our body internally now water is required for various industrial purposes in industries children we require water okay we require water to make few solutions we require water to wash the industrial equipment to carry out various reactions the number of chemical reactions children which take place in solution where we use water as the medium okay and then water is required for hydroelectric and thermal power stations You know what are hydroelectric and thermal power stations children? These are the power stations which supply or generate electricity using water. Okay, in a hydroelectric power station, the water from the water bodies is allowed to flow or fall on the turbines which will rotate providing mechanical energy and that in turn can be converted into 
electrical energy. In thermal power stations, children, fossil fuels are burnt to generate heat energy and that heat energy is used to convert the water into steam and this steam is used to drive the turbines which will generate electricity. Okay, and then water is required for bulk transport. Okay, for bulk transport, meaning children, the major uh, transport like heavy substances are transported via the marine way through ships. Okay, so this again, so water provides a medium for transport. So this is about the importance of water in our life. Okay.